what's going on? Welcome to this episode of Stylist Studio. On this episode, I want to give you guys a little advice for figuring out where and how to get a really great internship at, with a fashion stylist or at a magazine or with a fashion editor, which is a fashion stylist inside of a magazine. Um, you know, in general, while you're in school or if you're wanting to kind of break into the business. So, and also this really applies to any fashion insider that you might be applying for, whether it's styling or not, or anybody that you want to go intern with. So here's my first thing. Number one, find five people at least that you are obsessed and in love with who you want to go intern with. Don't just wait for the opportunity to pop up. The opportunity will never really come to you. This is about you figuring out who your heroes are and then the ones that are alive, obviously, and then go after and put yourself in a position where you can go and intern for them and learn from them. Um, so, you know, if figure out which magazines are your favorite magazines, whether it's in your town or if you have the ability to move to the place where that magazine is or several of those magazines may be or those stylists may be I recommend doing that um, you know if you really want to do a sky's the limit here because you want to go and learn from the best people in the world and it's obviously competitive so I'll give you some tips on how to kind of stand out from the crowd when you're when you're contacting people now the second thing that you do after you figure out who those people or magazines are is you need to find the proper contact to email your resume. Now, if it's a fashion stylist, you want to find out who their agent is and you can email your their agent. Um, I guarantee that their agent will either give your resume to their current assistant or assistant team um, or send it to the stylist themselves. Uh, you can always get access to the agencies. You can call and ask for, you know, tell them that you're interested in assisting someone specifically, uh, but make sure you know that person's name and then ask for the email where you can send your internship resume. Now, um, if you're also looking at a magazine, go on the magazine's website, look for contact, look for uh, career possibility emails, look for anything like that. Um, that's kind of going to get you in. Um, if you're going for a bigger magazine, you might want to find out who the human resources contact is and ask about their internship programs that way. That's a good way to find an email um, person that's going to be the appropriate person to work with you on internships. Now, my third recommendation is do a very fantastic draft straight to the point of the email that you're going to send to this um, stylist or fashion editor or whoever it is that you want to go and intern for. Now, I get like hundreds of emails of people asking to intern for me and I look for a couple things when I'm looking at these letters. Number one, I look for someone who tells me they're going to work very hard and that they're there to learn and they're there to help me in return for learning. Now my number one pet peeve when I do get emails from people for interning is when they tell me everything that they think they know. So it's like, oh I'm really good at trend forecasting. It's like, really are you? Because you're asking to intern for me and that's what I do. So I just think I think it's kind of weird when people tell me everything that they think they're good at. I'm more interested in people who are like, this is what I'm interested in. I'm interested in styling. I'm going to work really hard for you. I want to come and I will help you do whatever you want so I can learn from you. That's kind of the overall tone that you need to create inside of your draft or email to people um, to intern for them. Don't go into what you want to get out of the intern. No one cares. People care about what you're going to give in return for giving for being given the opportunity to be in the space with that stylist or that magazine editor. Um, the, the fourth thing is don't forget to attach your resume and your background, whatever it is, wherever you've worked, whatever you've accomplished, whatever your accomplishments are, make sure you create some sort of resume so that stylist or their assistant can go back and look at your experience, your schooling, and your past jobs and accomplishments. The other thing that you need to remember to attach is your portfolio. It doesn't mean it has to be a professional portfolio. It can just be images that you've taken with your friends. It could be sketches. It can be anything. You just need to show people your taste. That's another thing they're going to be looking for when they look to see if you're a potential for their intern team. Now, the fifth thing to do is to make sure that you have a parent or a teacher or someone who knows their way around grammar and spelling who can double and triple check your resume and your email letter to them. Now, you know, make sure everything's easy to open, make sure everything, because they're going to be looking for attention to detail. When I open intern um, emails and resumes, if I see grammar and spelling mistakes, I do not want that person on my team. They're automatically eliminated 
because that means that I can't trust them to send proper and professional letters on behalf of my intern team or my assistant team to do requests to the PR people. So you need to make sure that everything is perfectly grammatically spelled out and the spelling is right and your grammar is right and there's periods where there should be periods and there's not too many exclamation points and then everything makes sense. So those are my top five tips for uh, getting an internship. So good luck. Send that email and then cross your fingers. I hope this is uh, super helpful and don't forget to subscribe here to my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys on the next episode from my stylist studio. Check you later.